Title, The Psychology Behind Dictatorship Rule, A Dance Between Fear, Insecurity and Inspiration. Dictatorships, as a distinct form of political authority, have persisted across epochs of human history, often eliciting a fascinating yet terrifying fascination among observers and participants alike. What forces enable individuals to ascend to such unrestricted powers, and how do they perpetuate their rule despite its adversity to democratic ethos? These questions are best answered when one traverses beyond the superficial plane of politics and delves into the intricate realm of psychology. The psyche of a dictatorship, primarily, is profoundly entwined with the interplay of fears and insecurities, both of the ruler and the populace, coupled with the fine thread of inspiration that holds together this delicate dance of power and vulnerability. The emergence of a dictator is often steeped in the collective fears and insecurities of a society, conveniently amplified by the prospective ruler. The fear factor is a potent psychological tool wielded by the dictator, intended to unify the masses under a common enemy or threat. History is replete with such instances. Adolf Hitler skillfully stoked fear against the Jewish community, terming them as the bane of pure German society. Similarly, Saddam Hussein instilled a shared fright of Western influences, depicting it as a threat to cultural and religious identity. The power of collective insecurity should not be underestimated. When societal unease becomes pervasive, a nervous public, wanting stability, might willingly renounce some liberties and rights. It is at this juncture that a dictator in the making lays the groundwork for authoritative rule. He capitalizes on this disarray by positioning himself as the guardian skilled enough to steer the society out of impending doom. Then there is the magnetic charisma often associated with dictators, a fascinating blend of audacity and conviction that is equal parts horrific and inspiring. It does not just contribute to their ascent but also sustains them at the helm of power. Be it Fidel Castro's towering speeches, promising a sovereign and socialist Cuba, or Muammar Gaddafi's unyielding resolve towards an independent and prosperous Libya, dictators possess an uncanny ability to inspire awe and respect amidst their people, no matter how misplaced it might be. The dictators, by injecting an incessant sense of peril while simultaneously pledging protection, create a state of dependency, effectively ensuring a compliant populace. This paradoxical relationship between the fear-induced servility of the citizens and their absolute reliance on the dictator forms the bedrock of a dictatorship. A significant facet of the dictator's psychological warfare involves suppressing dissent and promoting conformity, often under the pretext of national solidarity. Here, elements like intensive propaganda, collective rituals, or even extreme practices like state-sponsored torture or purges come into play. The goal is twofold first, to systematically quell any voices of opposition, thereby creating an atmosphere of silent acquiescence. Second, to cultivate an undying allegiance towards the dictator, often reaching the fringes of personality cult or hero worship. However, understanding the dictatorial psyche should not blind us from the potential for human resilience and change under authoritarian regimes. Amid the layers of fear, insecurity, and seeming admiration, the flame of resistance often flickers. History again comes full circle to remind us, from the fall of Hitler to the execution of Ceausescu, that the human spirit is capable of surmounting the tyranny of dictatorship, however intimidating it may seem. In the final analysis, the psychology of a dictator serves as a stark reminder of our collective susceptibility to fear, insecurity, and the allure of charisma. It also amplifies the message that these vulnerabilities can be manipulated and capitalized upon for power establishments. However, it equally underscores the indefatigable strength of human nature to challenge oppressive forces, illuminating a path towards emancipation from the shackles of dictatorial rule. By peeling back the layers of this compelling yet destructive power dynamic, societies can ultimately learn to resist authoritarian tendencies. We must bear in mind that our vulnerabilities can be used against us, but at the same time, they also carry within them the seed for remarkable resilience. Understanding this paradox is not just a study in psychology, but a life-affirming directive towards taking conscious steps for promoting a world that can rise above the shadows of fear and insecurity, ascending instead towards dignity, freedom, and shared prosperity.